Okay, so this credit card is offering us a deal. Take a moment, read it, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so in, in this situation, we pay a $55 fee to get the credit card. They're going to give us 8% cash back on all purchases up to $500. So the first $500 we spend, they give us 8%. After that, we get 1% back on all of our purchases. How much would you have to spend to pay off the annual fee? Let's start with that question. All right, so that's this we're starting here. How much would you have to spend to pay off the annual fee? So in order to pay off the annual fee, do we have to you have to get $55 of cash back. Now the first thing I'm going to test is what is 8% of 500? How much is that? Because that's that's our bigger cash back amount. It's 0 0.08 times 500 this is the first $500 we spend. That's going to give us $40. So we get $40 from the first $500 we spend, but we have to pay off the $55, so we still have $15 to go. So my question is, now that we have 1%, 1%, 0 0.01, of what amount of money X is going to be equal to $15? That's the amount remaining. And to solve that, we just divide by what? Well, we divide by 0 0.01 on both sides, right? Because on the left-hand side, these will cancel. And then we have X equals $15 divided by 0 0.01. So 15 divided by 0 0.01. And that is an amazing amount of money. Maybe you're surprised by that. You have to spend 15 more hundred dollars in order to just pay off the annual fee. So put this together, right? In order to pay off the annual fee, we had to spend $500 to get the first 40 and then $1,500 to get the rest. So that's 500 plus 1,500. We'd have to spend $2,000 here. Right, and it's, that's quite a bit, and that's the first part. How much would you have to spend in a year to gain a profit of at least $55? So another $55, and we've already spent um, $2,000 just to break even, so now we need another $55 to, that we have to spend. So, excuse me, $55 that we want to get back. Now, so that's going to be 0.01, it's all that 1% range, right? We've already spent the 500. We'll say times some amount Y has to be greater than or equal to 55 because we're trying to get at least that amount of money and it's the same process we divide by 0.01 excuse me and then these divide out and the amount we have to spend is going to be what is that it's quite a bit right so 55 divided by 0.01 it's five thousand five hundred dollars so five thousand five hundred in order to get, though, a profit of at least 5500 we didn't just spend the 5500 We had to also spend the $2,000 before it, right? So this 5500 is not necessarily an answer just yet. To get the full $55, we had to spend 5500 5500 I guess it's the $55 plus the $2,000 before it. We, in fact, had to spend $7,500 in total. Isn't that amazing? Just to get $55 back. I mean, it's still a, this would be a good credit card deal, right? And we'll talk about different credit cards, it's a good deal, but you still have to spend quite a bit of money in order to get this amount back. All right, I hope that helped.